Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and free up your storage on the PS5. So there are some couple ways how you can do this and also if you don't know guys, the PS4 actually had a bit more storage than the PS5. So we can actually argue that the PS5 has an SSD and the PlayStation 4 has like a hard drive and it's not that fast. But you have to keep in mind that the PlayStation 5 actually doesn't have that much space. It's pretty much enough actually for most people, but some people might download a lot more games and they might need a USB extended storage. So for the people that need the extended storage, they have to go ahead and buy that extended storage. So I will try to leave some affiliate links in the description down below, but let's just go in ahead and talk about how you can free up your storage so the first way is deleting your games so if you don't know guys by deleting your games is actually gonna help you a lot so for example if i right now delete a game like the last of us over here what will actually happen is i will also get some stuff deleted on others over here so it will actually help me a lot so what will happen is Let's just go ahead and delete Last of Us 2. So let's just do that right now. And let's notice that it's gonna go from 52 gigs on others to a lot lower. So let's do it. And don't worry about deleting your games. The reason why is you won't lose saved data. So your saved data will always stay on here so like you see on others it will be reduced so this is actually a way how you can reduce others just by deleting other games so what happens is basically let's just say uh, gta 5 for right now so gta 5 is gonna be basically also an update so it will also have an update and also the game itself so mainly this is the game itself and this over here others there will be the updates. So that's the reason why we can actually not really access it. Maybe some people could like do some glitches and do some modding just by changing the updates or something like that. So that's one of the reasons why. And if you don't really know how to access others, the only way how you can access it is just by deleting it. So others is not really that important. There is uh the things like updates from your system itself and they just want to protect it so you don't have like a bricked console so let's just go to second way how you can actually free up your storage is by media gallery this is quite important guys media gallery you want to get that reduced so how can we do it we can just go ahead and go to media gallery and delete some video clips but i'm going to show you a lot easier way so the best thing what you can do on media gallery is basically going to settings go all the way down to captures and broadcast on here what you want to do is you want to go over to captures and you want to go ahead and go to all of these options so shortcuts for create button so what you do is you want to go to the length of the recent gameplay and you want to get this reduced the reason why is if you go ahead and press on select for example and we click on like uh, stop the recording or something like that it's gonna be sometimes a video recording of one hour and that's way too long most of the times but sometimes keep in mind it could be that you maybe need a lot more like 15 minutes let's just say that you are across like a hacker and you have to prove that person was actually hacking or you just want to upload it to youtube so you're just gonna get like 50 minutes so you can actually ca capture the moment if you get for example for 15 seconds most likely you cannot get the proof that for example uh gamer 2341 wasn't hacking or something like that so if you know what i mean just you can get a bit a longer time just for for example capturing a moment that you had and you didn't notice it after like uh five minutes you actually did notice it so you have to go back to the gameplay and watch it so if you have for, for example 15 seconds you're not going to be able to go back and watch the gameplay what happens so what you can also do is you can get like one hour 
but what will actually happen is it will take a lot of storage and if you're like thinking yeah i can just delete that but remember guys so once we are like playing a game and we record and we stop recording most of the times we never watch that recording ever again so it's gonna just quickly add up like one hour one hour one hour of gameplay and then it's just it's just gonna be too much and it's gonna be just for nothing so let's go back but i'm also gonna show you a fix for that so what you can do if you do have longer hours but if you want to reduce the uh, space that you're taking just by getting in some gameplays let's go for two screenshots so this is not that important you can just choose file type this is pretty important so on here you can choose on which type of resolution that you want to film so 4k is always gonna take a lot more space than full HD so if you want to uh, just free up your space make sure that you just get full HD instead of 4k so these don't matter file type doesn't really matter Video quality, it actually does matter. Like I said, the lower quality that you get, the more space that you will have. But remember, if your quality sucks, that's the reason why. Because you chose to get your quality lower. But what I suggest you get to get is always get le at least 60 FPS. Like, don't go dirty FPS because sometimes it could look a bit weird. And too low quality is not really that good, on my opinion. But if you don't really care about quality, you can just change it to the lowest. So let's go for two camera so you can maybe see me. Here we go. <laughs> Make sure that you subscribe and also like the video. And let's go for to display chat, doesn't matter chat to speech doesn't matter so this actually does matter so trophies this is really important guys get it just to platinum or none so if you're a uh, dude that hunts platinums and you just want to get that you can just choose platinum actually this option wasn't actually there back in the day so it's just new it came out with a new updates it was back in the day it was just none or all trophies now it's changed to you can like either get all of these trophies or platinum and gold silver platinum and gold platinum so i chose platinum for right now so if i get a platinum i will get a automatic screenshot and i will also get a automatic video like you see and i can also choose how long this video is I can choose 30 seconds or 15 seconds. So what I suggest you to do here is get either none or platinum. This will save you a lot of space and especially also on here. Trophy video duration, make sure it's just 15 seconds. 30 seconds is like, you don't really need that much. And that's also a way how you can save a lot of space because most people on default will have it on something like this, all trophies. So what will happen is they will just add it up, add it up, add it up, and then it will just cost them a lot of space. So that's just something. So on challenges, I just have this off. And yeah, that's basically it on way number two. How you can free up space is just by deleting or reducing your gameplay on media gallery. And also the last thing that I wanted to show you on media gallery is once you go to here, your media gallery itself, you can actually also trim it. So what you do is you click on, for example, let's just say this video over here. Do it. I want to stop it. Go over to edit. On edit, let's just say that all of these parts weren't important. So the most important part was here. So what you can do is you can start from here and let's just say that till here it was important. So the rest is not important. So what you can now do is you can just save it and replace it with the original one. So this will also cause you to save a lot more space than usual so it is also a way especially if the gameplay itself like i said was over one hour 
I don't really mean one, over one hour, but if it was like close to one hour or 30 minutes, 15 minutes, you can actually sp uh, free up a lot of space just by trimming your videos to only the important parts. So that's also something, guys. Do it. Let's go to the next one. How you can free up space. Let's go over here. So let's go back here. And the next step is gonna be the USB extended storage. So this is not really freeing up space, but this is just an extra that I wanna add into my video. So let's just say that it's really not that enough. Like you're playing all of your games and um, you just don't have enough space anymore just to update or to add another game that you really wanna play. What you can actually do is you can just get a USB extended storage. So I will try to leave some affiliate links in the description down below. So maybe you can check them out so you can add some extra storage into your PlayStation. And yeah, that's basically it. And I just want to say, guys, do not delete safe data. Like, this is only 2 gigs. It's not really going to matter just by deleting safe data. So you're going to be most likely... Um, <coughs> just <laughs> lose a lot of data instead of freeing up your space like this doesn't really take that much it's a lot better to delete your games because once you delete your games you still have the save data you won't lose the save data so you won't really have a problem once you re-download the game itself so that's one of the reason reasons why I tell you that try not to delete your save data and you will be fine <laughs> So, also guys, I want to tell you about this. Like you know, on the PS4, we had more storage, but it was a lot slower. So, for example, if I loaded up GTA 5, it took like more than a minute. But on here, it just takes about like seconds or something like that. So, I just want to tell you that the storage on the PS5 is also reduced. But... You want to also know that like on the box, it actually says that you get about 800 gigs, 850, 825 gigs of space. I'm not sure how, ma how much space it exactly was, but you will come out as 667 gigs. So do you see that over there size? At mine, it says 667 gigs. So that's probably how much you will actually get. So my free space is right now 474, but I deleted some a lot of games, but I do have safe data, so if I redownload them, I can just play without any problems. But you wanna remember guys, if you buy a PS5, and if it says that it's 800 gigs, it's most likely gonna be 600, or if you're lucky, 700 like for 99% of the people so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it please drop a like and also subscribe that will actually help me a lot so i can make more videos to help more people out and take care